cold drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Cześć, witaj, z Jason Max, witam was w 11 odcinku z The Book of Unwritten Tales Nagrywam ten odcinek od razu po tamtym, więc... Idźmy z tym koksem Pewnie. There's a small puddle of tears that's collected in this hollow. Weird. By my reckoning, we ought to be standing knee deep in water. <laughs> There's a small a stone sarcophagus with a carved knight on it. Maybe it's the ex-lover of the howling ex-living woman. A stone. Stop yelling. Did a lovely day today. My finely tuned intuition is telling me you might have some troubles. Oh, the drama, the pain. Oh, woman stuff? Or proper pain, like physical. <laughs> a thousand times worse than that. Looks like she shouldn't have gone into that deep water without her water wings. It wasn't an accident. I wanted to kill myself. It almost worked. <laughs> oh well, sweetheart, it's not all bad. Tell your uncle me what's wrong. Don't make fun of me. Would I? You men are so insensitive. Only he wasn't. He understood me. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> oh yeah. My Maximilian, oh the most beautiful man who ever walked under the stars. Pokażę dziewczyny i chłopak jest najpiękniejszy ze wszystkich. Ale ja żyję. And that's why you wanted to kill yourself? We were engaged. Maximilian and I were to be married. It was heavenly. I the rich daughter of a mithril merchant, and he... Get to the tragic bit, please. I gave him chestfuls of gold and all my jewelry as a token of my love. He was going to use it to arrange the most beautiful wedding ever. Ah, the con man hoofed it. <laughs> hoof it! Something must have happened to him. He must have been held, perhaps. Someone kidnapped him, and now he is languishing away in some tower. And he hoofed it. <laughs> and we will be reunited like two lovers on. And why have you chosen to ruin the atmosphere in this particular crypt? This is the resting place of his forebears. I will wait with his ancestors until I receive news from him. We will be able to make a list of pieces. Sounds logical. Well, it can't last that much longer. I know. As much as I'd love to spend more time with you, I have to get going. Tense. Yes, them. Brat, my big dupko. Obviously, the skull-headed zombie was reckoning there still weren't enough horror characters here already. <laughs> Obviously, the skull. <laughs> I think it's that unbreakable thread that you hold roast meat together with. There must be a good ten meters of it on the roll. A flattened tube of yellow paint. I don't think there can be much left in it. Does that burn you? Nie wiem, gdzie są. There was still a bit in it. I don't need the tube anymore. Ty to trzymasz. A pot containing some gloopy glue. There's a small stick in it. 
Akurat nie wszystko, nie? Hey boss. Ah, the living one. Co? And how many of you are there in the committee, I mean? The group is still in its early stages. We only have three members so far. But the Spirit Union is associated to us, and the Federation of Programmers are finally going public with their undead status. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't become a member. You're too alive. Thanks a lot. Ta muzyczka tak się skończyła w te dy. What are you doing in that thing? And don't tell me it's a fashion statement. I've seen a lot of stuff, but that... No, 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 no nothing like that. A paladin put this thing on me. What did you do? Insult his sister? Well, you could put it like that. <laughs> he put me in the pillory for it, but even then I couldn't keep my mouth shut. That's why the fair lady stabbed me. So I came back as a ghost and kept her awake at night. They sent a ghostbuster after me, and he actually caught me and killed me. <laughs> he killed a ghost? Cool guy. <laughs> I then came back as the first undead ghost in history and messed up the fair lady's wedding. The fuck? As a result, the paladin conjured this magical penitence pillory around my neck. Now he's lurking around outside the crypt. I think he'd like to cut me up into little pieces and throw me into the sea. Pretty nasty. You've hardly done anything to deserve that. Oh, I don't know. I've had a lot of time to reflect, and I'd like to end this feud. It only causes unhappiness. Why don't you apologize? I've tried, but the paladin only wants revenge. He hurled his hammer at me last time. That thing looks pretty uncomfortable. Can't you get the pillory off somehow? Would I still be wearing it if I could? You've got no idea how impractical this thing is. Try scratching your nose with it on. Or go to the bathroom. Oh, don't remind me. <laughs> this is a magical pillory. You can't just break it open. It's sealed for eternity. It'll only open when the paladin forgives me. So, never then. Oh, it would seem that way. I better get going. See ya. Take care. And remember, we, the undead, are your friends. Rancid smelling, dead friends. Okay. A grave. There are a lot of them here. I don't know what's supposed to be so special about this one, though. From the outside, there's nothing interesting to see. And I'm not going to open just any old grave on suspicion. <laughs> the candles create the right atmosphere. Creepy, yet still with a hint of homeliness. But this one isn't going to burn for much longer if it keeps dropping wax like that. Hey Gulliver. Ah, the living one. Does your body maybe act a little kooky? No, it doesn't. My body isn't finished yet. Or do you mean the old one? The rotten one in the ground? I, uh, meant that one there. Oh, this one. Oh, <laughs> it's not mine. Just borrowed. Oh, yeah. Sure. Um, whose body is that then? Esther's. And who is Esther? Hmm, no idea. Don't know her. Uh, but this is her body. She's helping me until I got mine back. Then we're both going to look for her head. Esther. Exactly. Yeah. How did you get to know each other? You and Esther's body? Uh, for many years, I was in a grave out there. I chewed my way out of the coffin after my old body gave up the ghost. Then I saw this body outside, stumbling about, headless, knocking over gravestones, running into walls. I thought to myself, this is a sign. And what you're making there, that's supposed to become your new body? Exactly. Isn't it excellent? Yes. Yes, it's, uh... X something. <laughs> Unfortunately, the construction drags along a bit. I'll tell you one thing. Never ask a headless zombie to replace your arms if you want to build precision machinery. I'll make a note of it. What's new? Doesn't all that wailing from that failed swimmer down there really get on your nerves? Steady on. The young lady is suffering great distress. And she lets it out. Day in, day out. 
for hours on end. So what's the story with her missing lover? He jilted her, cold as ice, raked in her gold and enjoys a sweet life somewhere down south. She seems to think differently. The good woman isn't really in touch with reality. <laughs> she still believes everything will be resolved one day. She's waiting for him to appear or send her a letter. Any I've got to get going. Breathe, feel my heartbeat, that sort of thing. <laughs> Don't let me stop you. To jest Ester. Jej głowa. Pójdziemy tam od razu na górę najpierw. Wow. A hideous feather headdress. No way. I'm not putting that thing on. But I can take a feather. Co nie? A pair of bellows. These would help the bull keep the fire going. Excuse me. These bellows here. Can I have them? They are broken. Hmm. Can I have them anyway? No. What do I get in exchange? Nothing. They don't sure. work. Hmm. You speak wisely. At last, someone who recognizes that. To <laughs> Hmm. Copper bowl. No idea what that's good for. Hey, chief. Can I take this thing here? Stare blankly if I can. Thanks. Dobrze bezpiecznie, jeśli mogę. Dzięki. Mortar and pestle. Proper, man-sized. I think I'd better leave it here. The shaman might get upset if I took it with me. I can always come back if I want to grind anything again. Morim. Cow makeup. Krowy kosmetyki. I'm wrong. That is makeup, and I most strongly suspect that it belongs to Big Chief Clovenhoof. Just to make things clear, I'm not putting on any makeup. Hmm. Black ink. I'll take that. The coals are just glowing, but the heat is tremendous. The coals are just glowing. The pot looks like it's been hanging over the glowing coals for years. I can't find anything else of interest. Only the lid's unusual. It's got a kind of steam valve on it. The lid is held with a chain. Pretty clever. The pot is empty. Holy. Right. I'll smear the edge of the hole with glue. Just missing a patch now. A Minotaur. Bowl that smokes a crazy looking pipe. And who doesn't seem to hear me. Or who doesn't get insulted too easy. Hi there. Hello? Anyone home? Moo! I heard you. <laughs> oh, that's great. My name's Nate, and you are? I am known on this plane as Fastfoot, Thunderhoof, the Rainmaker. <laughs> I belong to the proud nation of the Minotaurs. <gasps> and you run some sort of fancy hippie costume business? <laughs> I am a shaman. And that is? Palejo. I talk to the ghosts of our forefathers. I brew potions, heal the sick, and invoke the weather. Wow. The weather. Lots to do. You must really get stressed out. But Pali joined on it. True. Co tam palisz? That stuff you're smoking. Plants. To journey with the spirits and to commune with my forefather. You're supposed to eat grass, not smoke it. Okay. Okay. 
That moo thing just slipped out. I didn't mean to insult you. Eh, I just thought, hey, there's a bull sitting there. I'll say moo. You get me? <laughs> if you'd have looked like a donkey, I'd have gone Eeyore. Or if it stank like a pigsty, then I forgive you. But Dang. come to think of it, it reeks of buffalo, and I... Thank you. I have forgiven you. <laughs> Super. I need to go outside. Something not quite right about the air in here. Good luck on your journey. May the grass between your hooves be evergreen. Jink. Put my muted stuff. A paladin in a pink colored outfit? That's wrong. Just Pedal. wrong. Are you a warrior? No, I can't fight. Are you a healer? I can't heal either. Then you're a paladin. What do you want? <laughs> about the zombie you've stuck in the magical penitence pillory. What about that maggot? Is he going to give himself up to his fate? Is that cowardly zombie finally going to come out here? <laughs> He's really sorry for what he did. He'd like to apologize. Ugh, laughable. I'll cut him into little pieces and feed him to the fishes. Nice. Move to Couldn't you maybe forgive him first? You've spent too much time in that smoky buffalo's tent. I would never forgive someone like that. About your fight. That's nothing to do with you. That's between the zombie and me. Know any good paladin jokes? Why should anyone make jokes about us? We are the holy soldiers of the night. I could have never dismissed <laughs> This is a tunic. Sure. You know that men who wear dresses are, as a rule, well, men who wear dresses. What's that supposed to mean? Just because I wear dresses, use cosmetics, and take a general interest in my appearance? Ah, so it is a dress. <laughs> man is metrosexual. That's yeah, Well, my order and I have lifted ourselves up out of the mud in which you and your sort still wallow like pigs. We're cosmopolitan, hip, fashionable. We take care of our appearance and don't downplay our feminine side. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> the wildlands. Have to go. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, a head on a pole. What will the Peggy people have to say about That's that? That's Peggy. <laughs> a I bet you can watch the Peggy. Kind of a cheap gimmick because it's a day ill a lot. Ah! Dill a lot. Is it good? Is there a spider on me? Uh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Those creepy crawlies drive me mad. Can you imagine what it feels like when they run up your neck and then start nibbling at your eyes from the inside? I can't, uh, argue. I'll give you a clue. It's not nice. No fuck, ah. look. Stupid paladin simply chops my head off. Hey, stop that nattering. Leave the head alone. But a map of the region. Among other things, the paladin has marked the crypt. The paladin always spits in this place. The ground is already sodden. There, please, a spittoon. How charming. A fashionable travel chest made from light wood. There's a logo on it. Hmm. The Pink Crusaders. It's a Serduska. Right Why not? You can always use a pink colored pom pom. <laughs> in the wildlands. <laughs> in the war. <laughs> A banner. 
The emblem on it could be the paladin's arms. It shows a sword, a shield, and red high heel. <laughs> Lola. Hello, princess. <laughs> yes. What's that zombie head doing there on that lance? If I put it on the ground, it might try and bite me. It's also much easier to see like this. I mean, why did you behead the poor zombie in the first place? <laughs> Zombies <coughs> are unkempt, stinky, unholy things. Without any charm or chic whatsoever, they can't expect any sympathy. Why do you spit every time we talk about the zombie? The mere mention of her makes my bile rise. The mentioning of whom? The zombie! Just the zombie word, or others too? No, just with zombie. And if I say it? What? Zombie. Then it's okay. Which beings in this world do you hate the most? Naked mole rats. Um, and then what? Zombies. Zombies. Can you help me with my crossword puzzle? I'm looking for undead being in six letters. Zombie. Hmm, what? Zombie. Bambi? But Bambi only has five letters and isn't... Zombie! Are you stupid? I bet you can't say this tongue twister. Zombie Zeke zapped... Um, uh, Zulu 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 Zebra Zombie. Uh, Zigger Zagger Zilch... Uh, Zoom Derm... That doesn't make any sense. Say zombie. Zombie! <laughs> Thank you. <coughs> That'll do. That's enough of zombies. I think so too. Have to go. Ha ha. Hmm. There's a little spit lake that's formed on the floor. Nice. Now I've got a pom pom on a string. <laughs> The ink's too good to just splash around. That's finest quality ink for writing, or... F Hmm, some red earth. Just about everything else here is black and gray. A few small white mushrooms. No idea if you can eat them. Why should I paint the mushrooms? As long as the red isn't liquid, it can't be mixed with other color. Patch, you see this zamek? I don't know if camera goes on or not, but you see this zamek. The rain for a long time. They're rotten and covered in mold. I'll do this. Nie zauważyłem go wtedy jak gram. Hmm, some kind of juice press, I'd say. You put the grapes or whatever in at the top and the juice runs out the bottom. Hey, it still works even. Maybe it's just the green skinned guys who weren't able to work it. <laughs> if that garbage pile grows just a few more meters, the orcs might as well forget the gate. Any attacker will just be able to use it to climb over the wall. Trash from every corner of the world. How did that all get there? Flowers seem to be doing well in the garbage. They're in full bloom. The blooms are a luminous blue. Are they supposed to be luring someone or warning them? 
Great. Now I've got blue fingers. Hehe. Seja votada. Wanted. Slay the Noel Hogger and take his powerful Noel Claw. Blah blah blah. All the routine stuff. I could write something on the page. Proszę mnie wpuścić. I don't think so somehow, but we should give it a try. What do you think you're doing there, worm? Co? Grozisz mi? I'm uh, storming your camp. <laughs> Who are you? I am the great Gorak, chief of the Bloodside Orcs. What have you done with little Wilbur? What's a little Wilbur? He's a gnome. Oh, him. Since when did people start naming their gnomes? What's the world coming to? He walked into our trap earlier. Stupid little beggar. Is he all right? I damn well hope so. What would anyone want with a damaged gnome? I want Wilbur back. We caught him, so he belongs to us now. Get yourself a new one. But I'm responsible for him. Your problem. He's the main prize in our warrior contest, so he stays here with us. What is your warrior contest exactly? It determines who is the most powerful warrior. Two opponents go head to head in a series of brutal tests. The winner is bestowed with great honor and receives a prize. And Wilbur's nothing more than a prize to you? No, the prize is a bottle of fire whiskey. The gnome's just a bonus. So, can anyone take part in the warrior contest? We orcs fear no one. We'll take on anyone in a warrior contest. Well, that's fine. Then let me in. I want to take part. I said it's a warrior contest. Someone like you taking part would be a complete waste of time. I may not look all that dangerous, but sometimes the less obvious guys are the most dangerous. You're right. Really? You don't look dangerous. <laughs> uh, point taken. I'll go find a warrior in all this wasteland. Then can he take part in your contest? If he's a real challenge, why not? But not any old piece of rubbish. He has to be a great warrior. I know where this is going. Why do you guys always make trouble? You kidnap harmless gnomes and then attack the free world for no reason at all. <laughs> it was an anticipated defense of the homeland in enemy territory. And anyway, what else are we supposed to do? We have the biggest army in the world. No one else invests as much gold in the military as we do. It would be madness to invest all that gold and then never wage war. That's downright irresponsible. We couldn't anticipate that the damn war would take forever. And now you're stuck in it up to your ears, as is the Alliance. <laughs> That's all propaganda. There are thousands of war-hungry, well-equipped and motivated warriors here in the camp waiting for deployment. Oh, yeah. Czekajcie, moje cięcie. Już do was wracam. I'm from the environment office. You do know that you can't just go chucking your rubbish all over the landscape here. <laughs> Open the gates, please. I need to check your garbage cans. Co? Do you ever listen to yourself when you speak? How can anyone blather such rubbish? I don't know either. It's like I can ask different questions, but every time I select the most stupid one. <laughs> I'll be back. And I'll wait. <laughs> Czekajcie, bo ja z czegoś, czegoś, czegoś tu można było wycisnąć, coś pamiętam. Kurde. Pogadam sobie. Hej, boss. Z szefem. A, the living. 
The orcs have made my friend a prize in one of their stupid warrior contests. You don't happen to know any warriors, do you? I don't know anything about fighting. I used to be a juggler, a harlequin. Ask Gulliver, he's well traveled. The orcs have made my. F I don't know it. I better get. Take care. Hey, Gulliver. Ah, the living one. Tell me, does that sound good? Apparently, the orcs have made Wilbur a prize for warriors. Do you happen to know Fuck. any warriors? Uh, a warrior who would compete against an orc in a warrior contest? Correct. Uh, Let's go on nearby, If possible. And uh, if it's also possible, he shouldn't charge for his services. Uh -huh. So someone like that, you won't find him around here? Most probably not. If I don't find a warrior who can extract Wilbur out of there, then at least I've done my best. It will have been God's will. You could compete in the contest yourself. Do I look like a warrior? Should I go and get myself some weights and pump myself up in time for this afternoon? Well. In my experience, there are two ways to become a dreaded warrior. The first way is the virtuous path of trial. You must gain experience in countless battles, work on your technique, and improve upon all of your... You must understand the essence of fighting better than anyone else. You must never give up. Every detail must be important to you. Then, after a long and agonizing period of humiliation and defeat, you'll become a reasonable warrior. And the other way? You need invincible kit. If your weapons and armor are better than everyone else's, it doesn't matter if you're a useless warrior. Your kit does the work for you. That, uh, that might be just the thing for me. I'll get myself some invincible kit, save the little guy, and become the hero of the hour. I think there may be a legendary warrior set somewhere near here. What makes you think that? Oh, just an idea. It's true. There is a powerful and famous set close by. But how did you know? Does it maybe consist of several components that are distributed around this area? And there's a whole series of rip your hair out tedious ta Indeed! They are the helmet, the shield, and the sword of power. But how? Well then, what do I have to do for you, for you to help me? Well, um, you... you could help me with my body. What's missing? Um, well, I need a lung. And? Uh, a heart. And the third thing. Um, everything needs to be powered up. A, a bolt of lightning that will breathe life back into my body. Uh-huh. If you help me, I'll tell you where the sword of power is kept. And perhaps... I'll put money on. Ah, you're not much fun, are you? So, where am I going to get a heart from around... Hmm. You could give me yours. Great idea. I'm just trying to help. So what's a lung supposed to be? What do you think? It supplies the body with oxygen. And what do you need oxygen for? Energy is produced from sugar in the mitochondria, the cell's power stations, with the help of oxygen. The vital organs need this energy, particularly the brain. You're a skull. You haven't got a brain. You exist totally without blood, oxygen, sugar, and all that other stuff. In my construction manual, it clearly states that a human cannot live without luck. You mean the cornflakes pack with the kids special? You and your body. Five ways to proper nutrition. Look, I've only got one chance and I want to get it right. So bring me... I've got it. A... There's a huge hole in the bellows. I can't give it to him like this. He's ex... Well, still dubs. While you were doing all this mourning, did maybe a warrior set come your way? A what? 
You know, sword, shield, helmet. I have seen a shield. Do you know where it is? My Maximilian had a shield as well. The large, shiny one, decorated with feathers of a... Hello, let's stick with the subject. Where's the shield? Why should I help you? You are uncouth and brutal. You are always poking fun at my suffering. She... Please, no. As long as I am suffering, no one else may be happy. And your misery will only end when you receive a message from your intended? That is... <laughs> then we should send the jilted maiden a nice love letter. Right. <laughs> Dearest cream bun, it is I, your maxi poo. Maxi poo. I'm sorry I disappeared so suddenly. The problem was. Rosjan głosów tych strasznych, strasznych głosów. Innego niż w dyskusji o rodzaju paskudny charakter. The voices I wanted to give you a wedding fit for a queen. But then... Do serii przewidzianych wypadków jakoś o tym zapomniałem brutalnie przeszkodziło mi zrządzenie losu. I... On oh, the yes, uh... for a silver flower pearl for your wedding ring, I found myself in the southern ocean off the coast of Switzerland. When a storm arose, my vessel foundered and I awoke three days later. Na my patelni ze szczypiorkiem tym jankiem z ogromnym bolą głowy i dziwnym posakiem wostek głęboko nad nią odsłonął jako Deep under the ocean, as a living, watery corpse. I've overcome many dangers and experienced some great adventures, driven by my insatiable longing for you. But I cannot come to you because. Nie mogę znać drogi powrotnej. A nie chcę nikogo nie opytać, że jeśli Aklon to przykoł mnie do tych wód, co jakieś problemy z moją studencką wizą. A mal... a... malign... curse... binds me to these waters. I'm writing this letter in all urgency. Make haste to me, my love, wherever you may be. I'm waiting for you in the south. Deep in the south. Exactly... Here. What a masterpiece. Ah, there's something missing. Don't hesitate to help others before your departure. Kissy, kissy. Your Maximilian. Perfect. Już wracam, ale tu sobie skończymy odcinek. W kolejnym spróbujemy zebrać cały zestaw. Więc to było na tyle w tym odcinku. Myślę, że Wam się spodobał. Zapraszam Was do innych serii. Mówi dla Was Max i cześć!